Good morning. It's Lisa with Soul Shine. Happy Monday. It is morning tea with me. I've got my tea in my at-home mug today. I brewed creme caramel because why not? It's Monday and who doesn't want to say creme caramel in the morning? So that's what I made. I've got some vitamin D in here. Although it's a beautiful day, I'm gonna try to get outside and get some natural vitamin D, but also some local honey for allergies. So cheers to you. So this morning as I was sitting here quiet, quieting my mind before morning tea with me, I was kind of opening it up and praying, what should I talk about today? And forgiveness kept lingering in my brain. So, so today I'm just gonna put out some forgiveness vibes. So forgiveness to me doesn't mean um, accepting whatever happened by somebody else or even something I did to myself or you know, something bad I did myself. Um, it means I'm not carrying it around anymore as a chain around my neck or baggage, um, heavy, dark, yucky baggage that filters everything I see and do and how I interact with other people and expectations on my future and stuff like that. So um, forgiveness just means I'm um, releasing it. And I kind of like the word release. I like, it sounds lighter, it sounds, um, liberated and free and I like to live that kind of life so um, but the releasing part seems to be a daily daily and repeated task um, I'm a Jesus girl so I'm big into the three R's the repent <laughs> receive forgiveness and release and the releasing part is just a daily thing and if I've repented about it then I know I'm already forgiven so those two parts you really only need to do once but the releasing part my gosh it's just a natural, just like I was talking about the Caroline Leaf, where these memories create these almost like dug out ditches in your brain of thinking, and you have to kind of fill them up with new things until you no longer think about them. So you constantly have to release and re-forgive, and um, even if it's yourself or others, um, daily, sometimes minute by minute. So the whole forgiveness thing is a tricky task for any human being, I think, especially it seems the even the small um, blights um, versus the, the terrible and horrific and um, inhumane things that are done to people, um, they all seem very difficult to release. Um, but it's super important because I know um, myself that it filters the way that you interact with other people. And if you're constantly carrying around this baggage as a way to filter the way you see people and interact with people, then you're not really effectively living. You're just kind of going through the motions. So forgiveness is tough, but very necessary. So I encourage you to search your heart and figure out if there are things about yourself that you're feeling heavy about or feeling like you need forgiveness for, or maybe you're still feeling resentful towards another human being and you need to figure out a way to release that from your life and forgive them as well. It doesn't mean, remember, it doesn't mean you're approving of what was done. Um, it just means I'm no longer choosing to carry it in my life. I'm no longer letting the poison eat away at my brain and my heart and my soul. So if that lands properly in your head space, in your heart space, Give me a thumbs up, maybe a little heart, and um, just let me know that you're receiving it, that you're picking up what I'm laying down, because that's what God put on my heart today. So I hope that you know that through this process of repenting and receiving and releasing and forgiving, that um, it's difficult and tricky and a day by day, minute by minute, repeated thing, but eventually it'll get a little bit easier and lighter and you won't have that filter that you kind of stifle your life through anymore, hopefully. Um, and in the process, know that I'm sending you much love, and I hope you have a most marvelous day. Love you much. Mwah, mwah, mwah.